Hello. The last tutorial, uh, we uh, learned how to uh, increase a cable uh, procedurally or through blueprints in real time. So, in this tutorial, we will move towards making an actual grappling uh, hook system. So, first of all, uh, definitely we will need that part of code later, but not now. So, I am deleting in for now. So, and now, uh, if you haven't seen the first part, please see the first part. Uh, I have given the link in the description to understand the working of cable and also how uh, we increase the cable length uh, through blueprints in real time. Now, in this tutorial, what we are going to do is we are going to make a line trace from our character uh, in the straight forward direction and wherever it hits, for example, it hits on the wall here. Now, we will get the origin point and that end point. After that, we will increase the cable from the origin point, uh, the cable end location point from the origin point to that point. This way, the cable will connect from our mesh to that point. And after that, we will move our character uh, in here uh, from that point to the impact point. This is what we are going to do in this tutorial. So first of all, uh, we have to uh, create a line trace. So instead of line trace, let's create a sphere trace. Sphere trace by channel. The start point will be our our actor location and so get actor location. So for the sake of simplicity, I'm uh, taking the starting point as actor location. You can take the starting point from hand or anything you want. So this is our starting point. Now we are going to get control rotation and from there we are going to get x rotation x vector and multiply by uh, how far we want trace to be so let's say we want 1000 and then add it uh, vector this will be our end point. So uh, let's make it persistent and radius of uh, 10. No. Now let's try. Uh, okay, I haven't connected it. Now you can see. Now the importance of using control rotation is you can point the end uh, location in the direction in which you are seeing uh, you can control it through for example if you want to uh, move up uh, line trace to be directing towards up so it it can be okay so downwards i can use it so now our line trace is working as we want to make it more uh, better we will add a factor of let's add some value to z Uh, let's say we add a value of 100 and then we will connect so it will lift the uh, so if I'm looking straight now you can see it's bit up here now I have to increase it more like 250 yeah so it's better now 
great now it's working now and also it's colliding now our uh, now let's uh, increase the length here a bit i think it will work now now we have a line trace from that origin point to that end point now what we are going to do is we are going to increase a cable length from that origin point to that point in this way uh, you will get you will see the effect of grappling hook now from here uh first of all we will need a branch here so the next logic works only if our line trace actually hits something so so first of all we have to rotate our direction in which we have generated our line trace for example why we need that for example if i am looking here but my mouse is looking towards that direction now you can see the cable will move from that point to there so it will not look good so we have to move uh, rotate our character in that direction so for that we have to use a node find look at rotation in which our start uh, position and our target start position will be our get actor location and target point will be the location at which our line trace hits and now from here we will uh, set actor rotation we want to set the uh, rotate only we want to get the value of only z axis now it will only work when the line trace actually hits something now let's see it's working or not yes it's working now it's perfectly working so and it's working on the every side on every axis perfect so if you remember we uh, if you want to increase the length of a cable on certain axis we use the following uh, logic get and location and then we uh, add a vector here let's say we want to increase the length on the y axis because it's in the front side of our character so in the previous tutorial we added a value here and then uh, we set end location and we connect it with this with that but it will not work uh, as it is because we don't know uh, the user uh, may sometime it will uh, look in that direction and sometimes he will um look in that direction and sometimes in that and sometime in that direction so we have to uh make the logic in that way that wherever the user see and wherever he want to hook the grapple our uh, increasing of cable logic works fine for that we have to convert the cable uh location from our local space to world space first sorry not our uh, cable uh, local space to world space but the we have to convert that uh, location position point uh, in world space uh, from world space to local space the reason for that is because our cable increases uh, our cable here increases its length from uh, increases the end location which is a local uh, relative 
so that's why if we uh, we want to increase on always on the x axis to uh, remove any confusions in future that's why what we will do we will convert that impact point from world location to local space and then and the cable will know that how many uh, at what distance that point is from my x position so it will start to increase uh, on the x axis the cable will start to increase increase its length from on the x axis for that we will use a node inverse transform location so it will convert the uh, location our impact location from the world uh, position to local position for our uh, cable component so here is our cable component get uh, world transform now so if you you can uh, read here if t was an object transform in our case it's a, a cable transform this would transform mean convert a position mean that location uh, from world world space to local space so that uh, reason for that the cable will know that he it has to increase uh, on the x axis its location on the x axis to what value so we are taking um, back that logic and that move it here now we are going to let's say 100 100 and 100 because as i told you before the user can see in any direction and we don't know the real time we have to make our logic intelligent in a way that it can it it is it will be able to detect in what direction cable should move and in what direction our endpoint is so from there we will break it and we we'll use a clamp sorry clamp note uh, clamp float this one will be for x direction and again we are using that for y and again we are using for x z z direction and from there this will be our limit so it will tell us at which our point is so break x maximum here y maximum here and z maximum here now we will uh, make a uh, vector x in place of x y in place of y and z in place of z and now we're going to plug in here So this logic, that one, will convert the uh, impact point world location to local space so that our cable can know in what direction it has to move. And that logic will limit, will tell uh, in what direction we have to increase the actual value. So maybe it, it may be on X, Y or Z in, in whatever direction this will control it and now okay I have missed cable component here so I'm going a bit slow and definitely English is not my native language so I hope I am trying my best to uh, give you uh, the basic concept on how this vectors and every calculation is working so you get the basic understanding how everything is working so I hope you are understanding it. But if still, if you uh, if you confuse or get in doubt in anywhere, you can get in contact with me and you can ask me anytime. Now uh, 
our basic logic is done here now we want uh, our cable to move automatically or continuously from our origin point to the impact point for that we have to make a loop uh, delay and let's move it back here now let's see is it working or not so let's move a bit close and let's see what we will see here now you can see it's working perfectly it's moving from our origin point and it's going straight to that impact point which is totally uh, accurate now there is one more thing let's move it to that point it's working now if I move it here now you can see it is not increasing further why it's not increasing further because of our that clamp logic now I think you get the understanding why we use that clamp logic here and now you will know that why I converted that volt uh, position to uh, local position and why I used uh, values in all of these points here axis here and the working of clamp now now the other important thing we uh, left is to uh, increase the cable length to give flexibility and sag in cable for that we have to uh, make and uh, get length sorry uh, cable set cable length cable length get uh, why I am not getting vector length so vector length here and let's connect that with there and now we want to have a factor else like I told you in the bef uh, previous tutorial we should have a uh, some factor here to control the sag and flexibility of the cable and now we are going to connect here and now we will uh, connect the loop path here so as as long as the uh, end location increases cable length also increases which will control the uh, sag and uh, the flexibility of the cable now let's see how it works now you can see now the, our cable has that flexibility and sag in it so it looks a bit jittery because our delay is very big let's decrease our delay to that now you can see now it's now you can let, let's try here it's working here also and here also and uh, that axis left now so it's working on all axis now in for uh, so now we are not bound to see in in a certain axis now we can see in any uh, direction which can be diagonal and a mixture of X and Y and Z and whatever so it's working perfectly fine and you on that system on the basis of that system you can create a grappling book and you can also create a spider-man web system in which you can hang and definitely we will create that system later and also we will create a zipline also so I think that's uh, it for this tutorial. In the next, we will actually move our character from the origin point to the impact point. Uh, if you like it, please uh, like and subscribe. And till next tutorial, Allah Hafiz.